This is an interesting little tale. It's about a guy named Ronnie Prevett, Ronald Prevett, uh, up in Philadelphia. He had served in the Air Force in Vietnam. He returned home. He became a cop. And he started by shaking down people. He'd stop them for traffic violations and take a bribe to let them go. Then he graduated to shaking down restaurant owners who were up serving liquor to underage kids. That's silly stuff. He went on to stripping impounded cars. He stole stuff from crime scenes. He took payoffs, pushed his way into doing payoff from independent bookies. And then uh, he was eventually forced, of course, to resign. From, well, why, of course, from the, she, the police department. And he took a job as a security guard at the Tropicana uh, Resort down in Atlantic City. And he was there. He went right to work again. He was stealing chips uh, and supplies from the warehouse. He ran hookers, card games. He would find an unoccupied room at the resort and run a high-end card game. And this guy's incredible. 1993, he's, he's a big earner for the Philadelphia mob. And he became a made member of the mafia. And with that, he became uh, boss John Stamper's personal driver. Uh, he hedged and bet by, he started to wear a wire uh, for more than two and a half years, 400 hours of conversations. Wow. And then he testified later at the mob trials. He put 50 guys behind bars. Uh, you know, the interesting thing is when he was uh, uh, acting as an informant, we paid him $750,000. Uh, imagine that. Wow. He was arrested in 1985. Uh, charges were dropped uh, when he agreed to become an informant. Uh, he died in New Jersey. He uh, refused to go into the witness protection program. He died of a heart attack at age 73 in 2017. He refused the witness protection program and, you know, kind of went out of his way to stay out of the limelight. But you, know, you talk about the balls on this guy, huh?